Silvio Berlusconi has been found guilty by the three-judge panel uh, to, on abuse of power and prostitution uh, with a minor. So it, it, these were the two main, uh, these were the two principal counts that he was being tried for, and he has been found guilty. Initial reports, and we're just getting them in, is that he is sentenced to seven years. But of course, it's important to keep in mind, John, uh, that according to the Italian legal system, he still has two levels of appeal to go through uh, after this verdict. Now, this verdict took over seven hours uh, by the judges to reach, but certainly it does not bode well for the former prime minister of Italy, Silvio Berlusconi. Uh, how political is the legal system? This is something that the prime minister has stated. They've been chasing him for years, had actually had charges, never had to serve time because of statutes of limitations and a number of a variety of other uh, caveats in Italian law here. Is this a political witch hunt or something that he really should have stood for? Uh, wh what's the argument and what is the view on the ground there in Italy, Ben? Well, certainly Silvio Berlusconi has said time and time again that he believes that the judiciary, the judges, are predominantly of a left-wing, in some cases, communist uh, inclination. Uh, that really doesn't really fly beyond his group of supporters, who are a significant number of the Italian electorate. But that is the argument that he's, he has always made. And in fact, his lawyers were trying to get the the case moved out of Milan to another location where they thought the judges were more sympathetic. But in this case, clearly, the three judges, all of whom happen to be women, uh, rejected those appeals, and they have really come out with a fairly harsh sentence, somewhat harsher uh, than was expected in this case.